respect the mountains. We hope we have a clear run to Umlingla and this is going to be an adventure. You don't need seat belts, you need a parachute. Climate change is real. It's the reason why we don't get clear blue skies or white fluffy clouds anywhere in or around our cities. Even up here in the Himalayas, things are changing. Unpredictable rains, drought, heat. Some theories also say that the global spread of viruses is due to the melting of the ice caps. Things have to change and electric cars, they are an obvious first step. Now we have driven plenty of electric cars, cars like the Nexon EV Max. Don't we need a challenge though, Sirish? Yeah, of course. So now because we are in Leh, we'll head up to Khardungla. Well, Khardungla is done and dusted. This is the EV Max. The Nexon EV Max can go places. And so let's take it to the highest motorable road in the world. Let's take it to Umlingla. Okay, hold on. Umlingla Pass. That's 19,024 feet. That's 1,500 feet more than Khardungla. But not to forget, it's also 2,000 feet above Everest Base Camp. So there's only one way to find out. Yeah, well, keys. So first things first, we need to get the Nixon juiced up. Now, everybody talks about how infrastructure is the big stumbling block in mass adoption of EVs. And we are in Leh, as remote a city in India as it gets. Yet, in Leh, they already have a few electric buses running around. They have a public charging facility with DC fast chargers, which are fed from a solar grid. So clean, green energy. And on a DC fast charger, the next one EV Max, it'll charge from zero to 80% in 56 minutes. Leh has the added convenience of AC chargers at a bunch of hotels. This one set up by Lion Charge at Fortune Resorts in Spitup. Now the next one, EV Max, it takes six and a half hours for a full charge on the 7.2 kilowatt AC charger. And we need all the charge that we can get because today is going to be a really long day. My friend Vivek Srivatsa, who heads marketing, sales, after sales and strategy at Tata Passenger Electric Mobility, once told me that range is over-indexed. Basically, that means that we stress unnecessarily on range. Now, the Nexon EV Max, it has a claimed range of 437 kilometers. And when we left late this morning, it showed on the meter a remaining range of 420 kilometers. So it is pretty accurate. But you can't help but get butterflies on this drive. Now, Umlingla, it is 320 kilometers away. So we should be okay, except we are climbing from 10,500 feet in Leh to 19,024 feet. And also, it is going to get colder and colder as we climb. What effect will the dropping temperatures and the steep climb have on range? That is what we as road testers are out here to find out. And then there's the other question, should I be holding myself back? The Nexon EV Max, it is packing 143 horsepower, the 0 to 100 in 8.9 seconds. It has a sport mode and of course this is Evo India. We will be experiencing the thrill of driving on this drive. The only thing a petrol pump is good for is air for the tires and a... As they say, this isn't my first rodeo. I've spent plenty of time with electric cars and I've driven plenty through Ladakh and its high altitude passes. But Ladakh in an EV, that is a first. And there is a bit of learning that needs to be done. First things first is to regenerate and harness all the energy that would be otherwise lost, especially when you're going downhill. 
the Nexon EV Max, it has multi-mode region. So you can toggle between zero all the way up to three, depending on the terrain that you're encountering. I'm right now going downhill. So I'm going to set it in the most aggressive level three. And this will regenerate the batteries and also help me get a little bit more range. It also means that I've technically got one pedal driving. So I don't need to touch the brakes. Just get off the accelerator and the EV Max slows down. Speaking of the brakes, now most brake systems use a vacuum booster and up here where the air is thin and rare, the vacuum boosters don't work as well as they do when you're in the planes. But that does not affect the Nexon EV Max. It has what is called IVBAC, vacuumless boost and active control tech. Basically, it does not have a vacuum booster. So the same braking performance that you get in the planes, you also get up here in the mountains. The other cool thing about an electric car is that whether you're in Mumbai or Pune or these high altitude passes in Ladakh, the car makes the same amount of power. So unlike a combustion engine or even a hybrid, which loses power the higher up you go because the air becomes thinner, here you have the same amount of power. So even out here, I'll get zero to 100 in 8.9 seconds. And seriously, you can feel the difference. A couple of days ago, I was driving our support cars and you can feel the amount of drop in power in those cars. Out here, this is so zippy to overtake these lumbering trucks, buses. It's just a flex of the right foot and zoop, you are out of there. Then there is this silence, this pin drop silence. Now we've driven electric cars before and we know that they are quiet. And I've also driven through these parts and I've always done that in diesel cars or SUVs. Now driving it in this EV with zero noise, it's such a cool experience. You feel good about yourself. It feels like you're not belching black smoke, you're not making noise, you're not contributing to environmental degradation out here. We've done 280 kilometers since we started and now we've used up most of the range on reaching Hanli. And we are going to break journey here because from here, we'll be climbing from 15,000 to 19,024 feet at Umlingla. Tonight, there is also the added bonus. Hanli is the best place in India for stargazing. This is India's only dark sky preserve and an area that restricts artificial light pollution, enabling an exquisite outlook of nocturnal territories, starry night skies, even the study of environmental history. The views you get of the stars, the planets, it is mesmerizing. We've also used our brake in Hanli to top up the batteries. Now to bring you all the shots that you see in this video, we've had to go back and forth for the cameras a million times. And that means we've probably done twice the distance that you would do to get to Hanli from Leh. And that's where the home charger comes in handy. You can plug it into any 15 amp socket and trickle charge the Nexon EV Max wherever you are. And it doesn't get any more remote than where we are right now at Hanli. The climb up to Hanli from Umlingla takes us on this dirt track. This will lead us to Nurbuli and from there we climb up to Umlingla. It cuts through what is a protected wildlife reserve. You have a lot of wildlife out here, plenty of wild asses, beautiful elegant creatures that you see in the baking heat of the runoff Kutch and out here in the freezing cold, very hardy animals. And the reason why we are taking this dirt track is to soak in the spectacular beauty of this region. And the reason why we can take this dirt track is because underneath we have the tried and tested Ziptron architecture. Tested in Indian real world conditions with all the unpredictability that Indian roads can throw at us. As for the creature comforts inside, this is one step up from the Nexon that we know so well. So you get ventilated seats, you get a wireless charger, you get a Harman sound system, you get rear disc brakes and with that you have the electronic parking brake and also auto hold which we will use quite a bit as we climb up. You also get an air purifier and the AQI right now is one. You don't need an air purifier out here. Just put the windows down and breathe in the fresh breeze, the fresh air. What a joy. 
I see these dirt roads and it brings back memories of my rally days. The instinct is to just floor it through these gravel patches. And here, there is no slamming it into first and screaming the engine, revving it against the rev limiter, nothing. The altitude, the density of the air, it makes no difference to the performance. Just flex the right foot and the next on EV Max, it just goes through so effortlessly, so quickly. This is something I just can't seem to get over. From Nurbula top, we go down 17 kilometers to Chushmale and all that is downhill. And that's a great opportunity to use the multi-mode region. So I've got it in the level 3 and I'm regenerating charge. So I can see the range actually moving up, which is a great relief. We got from here another 37 kilometers to go to Umlingla. So 27 from Chushmale and from there it is all climb, climb, climb. I think we are climbing around two and a half, three thousand feet over that 20 odd kilometers and that really is the tough part for any electric vehicle because as you go uphill that's where the batteries the electric motor really has to work hard and your range it drops dramatically oh need a cup of tea with a lot of sugar they're like metallicas going full blast in my head. And we still have to climb 2,000 feet, 2,500 feet. This is where the serious bit of the challenge begins. From Chushmile to Umlingla, we are climbing up 3,500 feet in 24 kilometers. We've got 115 kilometers of range and I must say this road going up to Umlingla is phenomenal. You could do a hill climb out here. Smooth surface but the drops, well as uh, a wise man once said on the Himalayan rally, don't need seat belts, you need a parachute. So 17 kilometers to Umlingla, 117 kilometers of range. It sounds like we are there but the climb is really, really steep and that really puts a tremendous strain on the batteries. We got another 4 kilometers to go and with every 100 meters, we are setting a new record for the highest and the furthest an electric car has ever gone on a public motorable road anywhere in the world. What a testament to make in India. A made in India electric car, made in India road. And now four kilometers to go, we have 68 kilometers of range left. Next on EB Max is making it up there. Three kilometers to go. We are almost there. Nineteen thousand twenty four feet, the highest motorable road, not just in India but the world. And we made it up here in an electric car. The Tata Nexon EV Max becomes the first electric car to come here to the highest motorable road in the world. <laughs> 